Hey, and welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how to use the rack, a store. Let's go. First we need to start by creating three different parts. Right click the part in the MU class and select duplicate. Repeat the process three times. Edit the appearance of each part so that they look different. to insert our objects. The worker pool and broker are required for the workers. The source will produce the parts. And of course the rack. You can edit the dimensions of the rack but for now we will leave it 3 by 4. A data table is required to produce the parts randomly. First we need to format the table by assigning it in the source. You can add parts to the table by drag and drop. Insert the frequency with which the parts will be produced. The number of parts produced at once. And the name. For now the rack is just a 3D object, in order to be used you have to make it a simulation object. For the class, select store from the material flow library. Add workplaces for the worker. If you put the workplace of the rack in the middle of it, you have to select the station manually. Activate the importer for each station. This tells the station that the job is to be performed by a worker. Select the destination of the parts produced by the source. Let's test what we got so far. All good except for the arrangement of the parts. Easy fix. Change the 3D properties of the store. Click show to see the animation area. Change the orientation to XZ. Match the length and the width of the store. Hold the Alt key to move the area upwards. Place parts on the store to see what it looks like. Adjust accordingly.
remove this gap, in the Appearance tab change the Z dimension to a smaller value. Now your store is complete. If you find this video useful please don't hesitate to press that like button. Thank you for watching.